Welcome back to the Hobby Farm Guys channel. I'm Eric, and in today's video, I'll spotlight a somewhat lesser known duck breed. The Ancona duck was developed as a homestead duck breed, a duck to provide lots of tasty, nutritious eggs, be a good meat bird, and be a hearty, self sufficient member of the farm. Stick around and learn all about the Ancona duck. Like many of the breeds we spotlight, the exact origin of the Ancona duck breed is a little murky, long thought to have first been bred in England during the early 20th century using similar ducks that created the magpie breed. New information points to this breed originating in the States. An article published in the 1913 edition of the Waterfowl Club of America yearbook announces that W.J. Wirt of Ridgeview Farms in Knowlesville, New York had developed the Ancona, a new duck breed named after the Ancona fowl. He had created the new breed by combining several standard duck breeds. Shortly thereafter, records of Anconas entering poultry shows in the Northeast began to appear, and in the February 1915 issue of Poultry Item Magazine and the 1915 American Poultry Yearbook, Anconas were mentioned in the announcements of two first place wins in a Boston show by Wildham Duckery of Raleigh, Massachusetts. Based on this evidence, Ancona ducks are now currently designated as an American breed. Whether Anconas prefer to drive on the right side of the road or the left, they are a unique duck. They display a broken, mottled plumage unique among ducks. Unlike other ducks, such as the magpie that exhibit pied coloring, the Ancona is unique in that it has no set pattern. Similar to a Holstein cow or a pinto horse, it sports a white coat with random color splotches, but there's no set pattern or order to the splotches. They can appear in any size, any number, and just about any location. As the Ancona has not yet been admitted to the American Poultry Association, no defined standard of perfection exists, but the general rule is any combination of white and color is acceptable as long as there are obvious broken areas on the head, backs, sides, and underbody. The neck of Anconas is normally solid white, the bill is yellow with dark green or black spotting, and the legs and feet are orange with black or brown markings that increase with age. The usual color is black and white. Other color varieties are blue and white, chocolate and white, silver and white, lavender and white, and tricolored. Chocolate is a sex-linked recessive trait, if a chocolate drake mates with a black duck, all female offspring will be chocolate, while all male offspring will be black. A black drake mated to a chocolate duck produces all black offspring. Only male offspring will carry the sex-linked recessive chocolate gene. Weighing in around 5 to 7 pounds, the Ancona is a medium-sized duck, a bit stockier than the mallard, but not as rotund as the pecan. It has a medium sized oval head, a medium length bill that's slightly concave along the top line, an average neck that arches forward slightly, and a body carriage that's 20 to 30 degrees above horizontal. The Ancona is a good layer, producing 210 to 280 eggs per year. Best production will occur during the first three years, but this breed will continue to lay well for five to eight years. The eggs are large and increase in size as the duck ages. Typically, white to blue, and Kona eggs may also appear green, cream-colored, or spotted. This breed also produces a rich, moist, high-quality meat that's more flavorful and less fatty than Pekin ducks. And unlike many other heritage breeds, Anconas are fast growers developing rapidly to a good-sized table bird. One of the hardiest duck breeds available in the States, these ducks perform well in both bitter cold and hot and humid climates. Well suited for situations where they can forage for some of their food, they tend to be a healthy breed without a lot of diseases or ailments. Particularly fond of banana slugs, they make excellent pond or yard ducks since they tend to stay close to home, don't normally fly, and are large enough to normally avoid predation by winged predators. Additionally, both drakes and ducks are known to be calm and relatively quiet. They tend to be less panicky when noises or other surprises occur. With their friendly, calm nature and a lifespan of around 10 years, they're also popular as pets. However, if you want to raise more pets, you'll likely need a surrogate or an incubator, as Anconas typically are not known to go broody. So there's the Ancona, an American duck that excels providing 
good looks, companionship, eggs, and meat to the homesteader or hobby farmer who raises them. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like button for us if we've earned it, and I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you get notified when we drop new videos. Until next time, keep on hobby farming.